President Donald Trump on Monday dismissed payments to alleged mistresses just before the 2016 presidential election as a simple private transaction, disputing claims by prosecutors that they amounted to a conspiracy to evade campaign finance laws. While some congressional Democrats cast the payments as potential cause for impeachment, Trump said prosecutors are looking for something to pin on him because they have been unable to prove any collusion with Russians who sought to influence his presidential election. So now the Dems go to a simple private transaction, wrongly call it a campaign contribution, Trump said during a series of early morning tweets. Even if the payments amount to campaign contributions, Trump said in another tweet, they would constitute a civil case, not a criminal one and there would not even be a fine. But a key Democrat said the payoff scheme could amount to an impeachable offense. Whether they are important enough to justify an impeachment is a different question, said Rep. Gerald Nadler, who is expected to chair the House Judiciary Committee when Democrats take control of the House next year. On CNN's State of the Union, Trump has repeatedly denied that he directed his former lawyer, Michael Cohen to pay hush money to women who claim to have had affairs with him. In court filings on Friday, federal prosecutors based in New York said Cohen orchestrated the payoffs in coordination with and at the direction of then-candidate Trump, identified in the filings as Individual 1. Trump has accused Cohen of lying in an effort to get his sentence reduced on other charges. The investigation of payoffs is separate from the other being conducted by special counsel Robert Mueller into Russian influence in the 2016 election though Cohen is also cooperating with Mueller's office. In other filings on Friday, Mueller's office said Cohen is providing his office with useful information concerning certain discrete Russia-related matters core to its investigation. In assessing possible impeachment hearings, Nadler cited on CNN evidence of repeated contacts between Trump's campaign and Russians. The fact of the matter is that what we see from these indictments and charging statements is a much broader conspiracy against the American people involving these payments, involving an attempt to influence the campaign improperly, with improper payments involving the Russians trying to get influence in the campaign, Nadler said. In his tweets, which included misspellings, Trump quoted a Fox News report saying that Democrats can't find a smocking gun tying the Trump campaign to Russia after James Comey's testimony. No smocking gun. No collusion. He meant to say smoking gun.